Remember when I built this? Just so that all of those screws could have like an optimal ratio. Like I never want to build like that ever again. I'd rather have a little bit less efficiency in order to get something done faster. <coughs> ah, excuse me. So this is where this comes in. An extra four smelters. Just injecting more iron ingots into these things. Maybe I should overclock it even more. There we go. Just try to get as much iron as possible. You know what? I think we'll leave it at that. Like, I don't want to be, like, messing with it too much. Are these still MK1s or MK2s? These are MK2s. So, since I'm overclocking over there, let's overclock this as well. Uh, you know what? I don't feel like... ...making more smelters over here. So, let's just overclock this. Because now we're making a hell of a lot more iron plates. We should be able to use more of these resources as well, so it's going to need more. That's already overclocked, so... I think we're good. We'll just let it go for now. Like, we do need to move on. Get other things done. I probably should take a break soon. Well, maybe we'll like do this for maybe one more hour. And I'll take that break. So I was upgrading this line over here. Upgrading these lines. At this point, it might be wise to start uh, using that second line here, except that's a splitter. We do that. We don't need to upgrade the modular frame line. Wait a minute, was I supposed to use the lower? Art. But just in case, let's do that. I think this part was supposed to be reserved or something, but I'm not too sure. It's like I did this a while back, I don't know what I was thinking. So, I have no idea. We're gonna need more encased industrial beams. We can upgrade this. At the very least, upgrade the cables. I 
And that should be good enough for now. Or, wait. There we go. That should be good enough for now. There's actually a lot of cables coming in through this direction. But if we can saturate this area. We can just saturate this then we can start flooding this main bus with the cables that we're producing over there. Okay, so this storage is now full. But we also gotta make sure we can do that because we're also gonna be using the cables up there for the computers. And I just need to figure out where those cables are on the main bus. That's actually over here. You know, let's just leave this for now. Or actually, we could we could probably do this now. So if I do this. A splitter here, but like this, and right here. I was supposed to zoop this like that. And this is... I'm hoping this is the cable line. Yes, it is. So, we do that. Alright, so we got cables from over there onto the main bus. And cables from over here going to this area, feeding into here as well. So, both of these are pretty much feeding the exact same area. But that area over there is producing more cables, so that's why I want it over here. Okay, I think... Oh, this is actually moving along pretty nicely. But anyway, so we got the cables. Let me check this recipe for the computers. So we got the cables. We got, well, the plastics in the factory. We just need to bring it over the computers. The screws, we need to deal with that. I feel like I should disconnect this line first. But as well, we should disconnect it from over here. Like this could just go up to the th second or even the third floor. This part? Oh. Inventory's full. I just want to put back here. 
if I can. Delete this. Uh, delete this. And this. I just want to get back our project assembly parts here. Why am I even reconstructing this? I really have no idea why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it. Oh, come on. I just hate it when you're trying to crouch slide, you don't end up crouch sliding, but you jump anyway, and that really like slows you down. I really don't like that. Okay, storage. Let's go ahead, drain off the line. Two. That's a lot of frameworks. Okay, line is drained. Then we'll just hook this back up. 218 in here. Let's just take some, just bring it back to the factory. And then if I remember, I'll bring the rest back. Okay, so that's done. We need to focus on either the screws or the circuit boards. Now we're going to use the silica from our quartz area over there for the circuit boards. And we built up a nice stockpile of it as well. Now, which one was this? Bristol Frameworks. Okay. Yeah, so we'll put those here. And these are continuing to be made. So I was going to switch over the iron over there. Then just bring them up. This thing right here, don't really have much use for it. Like, it's just making iron plates for this thing. It's not even that effective anymore. I do need to make screws for this. So I'm thinking, let's extend this a little bit. And then this could be our smelting area, our screws area. Can't do that.
Okay, I think this is good. Wait, that... That ramp isn't really connected to anything. this up here. Okay, this looks better. A little bit. Now we need to make our smelting area of... This is just two impure nodes, so... Uh... These ones. And they are using the MK4s, so... This is... Okay, this is the input side. I'm hoping this will be enough for the computers. gonna have to clear out this awesome thing here also gonna have to store our resources let's get you out of the way uh did we get we need to put back the awesome shop or awesome sink. We need to power this up. Okay, so the coupons are saved. So we can just get rid of that. Like, that was something that was worrying me. Let's start dismantling this area. But I gotta be careful, because in the backdrop, there's like stuff that I don't want erased. So, probably have to... Use like this. Okay, I think we're good now. While we're here, we might as well just finish clearing these rocks. Really haven't been doing that earlier on because I didn't have the explosives. Now that I have them, I really should be doing this. And this little rock right here needs to blow up. There we go. So, we need to replace these with MK2s. Uh, these. And we need another miner. Also, put the ore back. 
the hell? It's weird. Okay, let's just do this and this. So we just need to connect these two lines over here. this okay so we have a clean place here we can just put our splitter and merger logic The reason why you want to use splitters and mergers here is because I'm actually going to balance this out if it makes sense. gonna do this put it like this Okay, so then we just need to connect these lines. There we go. So it splits up, merges over here. So if one side gets like backed up, but other side needs resources, both of these miners will actually feed both of them. And this needs power. Of course it needs power. There we go. So, it's merged together. Let's cut down these nuts. I probably should check the ratios. Like, these are really simple ratios, so... It's okay for me to, like, focus on that. So, 60 per minute. Give you this. There you go. Have at it. So, 60 per minute. And how much does this do? 30 per minute. So I can actually overclock the miners to 200%. So 
So this will be 120 per minute. Now I just need to check something. So from the ingots, it goes directly into cast screws. So 12.5 per minute. So two would be 25. Four would be 50. So, okay, we can do two of these blueprints then. And we're going to need steel beams. Uh, we should have steel beams up there at this point. Yeah, I kept it in the storage here. Yeah, there we go. Same thing with these. Oh, I do need to get rid of these ink. You know what? Never mind. Get rid of this, though. Okay, let's try this again. We're gonna do four constructors. Missing encased industrial beams, of course. That's okay. We're gonna get some more of those. Okay, so let's try this again. Four constructors. Okay, let's just check. Oh, this is the output. Gotta turn this around. this. Oh, it fits. Okay. Okay, let's just, just hook this up to power. 